Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create this quite dramatic look using the Sugar Pills Burning Heart Palette. So if you want to know how to recreate this look, then just keep watching. Thank you. So firstly I'm going to take Too Faced Eyeshadow Insurance and use it as a base and apply that all over my eyelid. You only need a small amount. So I'll apply that with my finger. And put it all the way up to the brow bone. Okay, and then I'm going to take Taco, which is the white eyeshadow by Sugar Pill, and apply that with a big fluffy brush under the brow. So I haven't done my eyebrows yet because um, this product is quite pigmented and I knew if I had done them first, the white is likely to get on top of them. So we'll leave that to the end. You want to take that all the way down to the tear duct into the inner corner and then blend out the edges. So at the moment it looks very dramatic because um, it's such a stark white, it's very pigmented. Next we're going to take um, Buttercup Cake which is the yellow shade from the Sugar Pills Burning Heart Palette which looks like this. And we're going to take that onto a fluffy eyeshadow brush and just run that through the crease. So again, you only need a small amount of the product and tap off any excess before you apply it to the skin. So we're going to start at the outer corner and do windshield wiper motions to the inside corner. This will help to blend out the colours later on that are a bit darker. Okay, then we're going to take some more of that yellow and put it into the inner third of the eye. And this time just press the brush in place so that you get the most amount of payoff. It'll make the product look brighter. And then when you have less product on your brush, just work it inwards a little bit more so we can start the blending process. And go all the way around the outside of that colour. Okay, and then on another flat shader brush this time, um, we're going to take Flame Point, which is the orange, tap off the excess and apply that into the centre third of the eye. All these colours are quite matte, so that does make them trickier to blend, which is why we do lots of thin layers. And again, when there's less product on the brush, it does start to overlap that with the yellow. and also thin out the colour the other side. Now we'll take the brush the yellow was on and just go back over that edge so we can make the transition a lot smoother. I'll just apply one more layer of the orange. Okay, when you think that that's blended, um, then take another flat eyeshadow brush. You can just use the one you just did and just turn it round, but um, if you do have a spare brush it makes it really a bit easier. And then I'm going to take Love Plus, which is the bright red shade, and apply that on the outer third. Again, tap the product into the area, that way you'll have more control, there'll be more pigment and less fallout. Again, when there's less product on the brush, just start to overlap it with Flame Point, the orange shade. And then get the brush that you used the orange on and overlap that onto the red. Okay, when you think the whole eyelid is um, pretty much blended, then take a fluffy brush and a tiny bit of the red just bring it from the outside in a little bit. We don't want to go all the way into the tear duct, we want to keep that quite light. But just to um, over the top of the orange. Okay, 
As we applied that yellow at the beginning into the crease, it does make blending this out a lot easier now. So it gives this colour something to work into. Other than trying to get a really bright shade to blend into white can be quite a challenge. Okay, now when you think that matches up quite well with the other eye, um, we can move on to the lower lash line. So firstly, I'm going to start in the inner tear duct area. I'm going to take the white shade. So with the white shade taco, we're just going to pat that onto um, the tear duct. Because later we're going to create a small gap where we want to be able to see the white through. So if you put it on now, it'll be a lot easier than trying to fit it in between the lines later. And then with an angled brush, we're going to take Poison Plum, which is the purple, and draw under the lash line. Now this colour does stain, so um, it might be a good idea to apply a primer first, or your foundation like I have, or a bit of concealer, just to help. It's just the skin will go a bit pink. Okay, now for the inner corner, I sort of recreated the tear duct area by drawing the line a lot lower. So I'll be doing that again, and this time taking a smaller angled brush, so that we have a bit more control. It will also apply less product. So, making sure that you have something solid to lean on, leaning on the table, um, take that brush and just pat on the new line. Okay, there we go. And then if you take a soft um, blending brush, take a little bit more of Poison Plum and just blend out the bottom of the purple. And with my pointed brush, I'm going to take taco and just start to blend out the bottom of that purple. Just so it's a bit more gradual. We are going to go over the top of that line with black eyeliner, but the straighter you get this to start with, the easier that will be. And then just a tiny bit more blending around here. They're looking pretty symmetrical. So then we're going to take a um, black coal pencil and put it in the waterline. And stop just where the white starts. And we're also going to tight line the eyes. Okay, now I'm going to do my eyeliner, mascara and lashes off camera and then I'll be right back. So whilst I was off camera, I applied my eyeliner using Kat Von D's eyeliner in Trooper um, and I created quite a big flick at the end and then I tight lined my eyes with Rimmel Scandal Eyes in black and I also applied Maybelline's Last Sensational Mascara and then the eyelashes I'm using are by Allure, they're the 121 and um, they basically double up on the end and then they get slightly thinner so I think they suit this look quite well. So thank you very much for watching today and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care, bye bye.